Hey everyone, it's me again, Irish Jane, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Irish. I'm a Filipina. I'm from the Philippines. I'm not Irish, but my name is Irish, so you can consider me half Irish if you want. Uh, I upload videos related to K1 visa since that is how I got here in the United States through a K1 visa. And right now, I am on my adjustment of status. So this video is gonna be about my experience during my green card interview but I will also want to include um, my experience during my medical exam before my interview day so kung nakaka-relate ka please keep watching alright so I told you guys that in my last video that I got a letter from the USCIS telling me that I need to have a new medical exam so this is how it works the lady told us that it's actually from the time that you submitted your AOS application until the time that you got your interview schedule so let's say for example me I got my um, exam or my medical exam in the Philippines the St. Luke's last March 2018 and then I applied for adjustment of status in July 2018 kung dumating yung aking um, green card interview schedule let's say June or July 2019 okay pa yon kasi it's from the time na nag-apply ako ng adjustment of status which is July however I got my appointment ng September 2019 so it's more than a year that's why they are requiring me to have a new one so ganun ganun siya that's why some people they might say na ah we didn't have to have a new medical exam it's because probably hindi pa siya talaga expired so yo i got the letter September 18 uh, telling me that my schedule will be September 25 so uh, that was Thursday afternoon when I got the letter from the USCIS and they literally gave us how many days four days to prepare so that includes all the tags and paperwork and medical exam now ang pinaka uh, importante is the medical exam because you cannot get the results right away so Friday morning Kenny had to call the clinics na nakalista dun sa USCIS approved physician sa link na binigay sa amin ng Filipina fiancé visa. Um, the first two, hindi kami nakapagpaset ng appointment. It's because the first the first one, they don't do the immigration uh, paperwork anymore. The second one did not answer. So the third one finally answered and told us that there will be an available slot the same day, Friday, but it will be at 1 p.m. So we went to my scheduled medical exam. So when we got there, they told uh, me to fill out some forms uh, related to me and continuing petitioner and things like that. Then uh, I also had to bring my vaccination worksheet that I got from St. Luke's because importante na uh, they see that you have the record so hindi ka na paulitin ng vaccine and paid $400 para sa medical exam it does not include the vaccine kung may kakailanganin kang vaccine it's a different payment so they didn't need to take my blood pressure respiration or my pulse rate they only took the weight so yon after that, they told me to go to the blood extraction area where they took blood. So the blood sample is for them to check for TB and also for syphilis. So yun yung sample na kakailanganin nila to check those diseases. And if you are TB positive, they will require you chest x-ray. So good thing, thankfully, they did not require me any uh, further exams such as x-ray so it's a good sign diba? you if you remember my 
my K1 visa medical exam experience, they had to ask me to do the x-ray for the second time. But it turns out it's okay. So, but yeah, it scared the heck out of me. But good thing dito hindi na naman nila pinaulit. And then they also ask for my urine sample, which is for uh, the gonorrhea test. So, yon. Yun yung mga kakailanganin nila. And then, after that, they told me to go to a, like, a room kung saan gaganapin ang physical exam. So, um, all this time, I was with Kenny. Uh, they told me to take off my pants and my underwear and then wear hospital gown and um, unfortunately I was on my period my second day of my period during this time na nagpapa medical exam ako which happened as well during my medical exam back in the Philippines so it was really awkward because they told me to take off my pants and underwear and sit on the patient's table so good luck uh, so the nurse told me to do that but I could not because I naman na magmukang crime scene yung kanilang <laughs> patient's room doon so when she came in with the doctor I said I haven't um, taken off my underwear yet because I am on my period and she said it's okay so like, okay fine so I took off my underwear and sat down dun sa patient's table. Meron naman siyang parang uh, sheet, parang linen, pero paper uh, to protect the table. Pero awkward pa din. The doctor did not touch me. He just looked down there and then checked my ears, checked my, um, my eyes, my nose shoulders my 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 throat and he palpated uh, my my neck and my lymph nodes then he asked me to inhale exhale to listen to my uh, lungs and um, he did not palpate my abdomen he asked if my back is okay and that's it I didn't have to take off my shirt that time yeah, so yun lang yung pinaka awkward na, na, na experience ko during my medical exam. But other than that, everything was just fine. We told them that my schedule of interview will be on Wednesday, and that was Friday that I had my medical exam. Uh, they told us that I can bring that letter from them saying na I actually had my medical exam hindi pa lang available yung results but they said that once it is available they're going to call us so that we can pick up the results they also told me that i have to have my vaccination so flu shot yung kinailangan um, because of the season so yun daw yung kakailanganin yun lang yung required but other than that Wala naman ang ibang require. They told us that the vaccine will cost $48 and they gave us a choice kung gusto ko bang sa iba na lang magpa-vaccine. But we have to bring the record from uh, kung saan institution ako magpapa-vaccine uh, para ma-update nila yung aking vaccination worksheet. So we went to Costco to have my flu shot done. So Saturday morning, that is what we did. And then we took the record uh, to the clinic Tuesday morning because that was the time na available na yung aking medical exam. Just right in time because the next day will be my green card interview. So when we got there to pick up my results, we handed them our vaccination record and they updated my uh, vaccination worksheet. They told me to fill out the form as well so yung form i693 i believe so they asked me to um fill out the top pages so lahat ng page kailangan kong isulat yung buong pangalan ko and my a number so yon and then they gave me the results the sealed envelope and a copy of 
that um, medical exam, so which is good. Now, yun na yung nangyari on my medical exam. Anyway, that's everything for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye!